Gold Cup, same right, distance, three, same weight. Sometimes the same times too. Right. Nowhere near okay. as many runners, just 11. Some right. real old favourites and an old favourite calling them up. So they race away then for the Christie Fox Hunters. 22 fences to jump and as they come down towards the first, we've got to... Ah, uh, Brennan, one of the early leaders, five to four of the off the favourite Elegant Lord. They're at the first now, and uh, they're all over safely. Elegant Lord's on the wide outside, sitting all about third last, but plenty of time to make up the leeway, as he knows full well the horse. Ah, Brennan just has the lead with the green sleeves. Tino Top sitting in second place. Grimly Gale in the very pale jacket is a line of four for third. Earth Movement moving through on the inside, stay in touch. Jig time for Scotland and then Wilbar just behind that one. Elegant Lord, the back marker, as they uh, go up past the enclosures and swing left handed downhill towards the back straight. So Art Brennan taking them along. Elegant Lord trailing the field at the moment, though he's usually held up for a late run. They begin the run down the back straight, then on towards fence number three, and it's Art Brennan in the green sleeve jacket with Earth Mover taking a tug in second and then working out to Tino Tops and stay in touch as they land over that. Tino Tops is tight and stay. Greenly Gale towards the wide outside. Denfield was sort of bright white face in about fifth or sixth place is pulling very hard. Jig time there on the rail in a black and white hoop jacket. Over the water jump, an earth mover lands just in front this time from Ard Brennan and then stay in touch in the dark blue sleeves towards the outside, followed by Grimley Gale and Tino Tops as they jump an open ditch now. Earth mover over safely and all land safely, though Fantas wasn't too fluent. Fantas to give some consolation to the Seymour business team here. Earth Mover on the inside of Stay in Touch, then Art Brennan and Jig Time up the rail, followed by Tino Tops and Grimley Gale going round the houses, and still towards the back of Fantas and Elegant Lord, as they swing left-handed towards this open ditch coming up. Elegant Lord just lobbing at the rear of the field there under Ender of Bolger. Over the ditch then, and also towards the rear now is Wilbar, who's lost his position quite badly. Racing towards a plain fence, and it's Earth Mover towards the inside. Right up the rail is Jig Time, and then stay in touch towards the middle. Ard Brennan is there, out wide Grimley Gale, and then Denfield as they land over this. And still towards the back, Fantas, Elegant Lord towards the outside as they now begin to run slightly downhill towards the next obstacle. Then this is fence number nine coming up. And the shadows tell everything here. It's a beautiful sunny spring day. And it's Earth Mover that leads. The favourites are still at the back of the pack. You can spot his white cap right at the top of the picture there. Denfield's making a bit of ground on the outside. That will bar the other green jacket way out the back. But they are hunters and uh, they've got uh, plenty of work to do yet. Not yet halfway. As with the bit of an awkward jump there, flashing steel, the black jacket towards the back. Stay in touch, uh, coming through on the outside of Earth Mover as they continue to race downhill. These are one and two. Jig time sitting in third. Grimley Gale on the outside is four. Denfield wide is uh, coming to a place position. Tino tops behind that one with uh, Fantas on the inner this time. The Keithley colours are black and yellow on the inside. The favourite still very, very wide indeed. And still sharing last place as they come up past us and down towards fence number 12. And it's a Denfield coming through on the outside to share the lead there. Denfield, uh, stay in touch, one and two. Earth Mover in three, Jig Time and then Grimley Gale. And then uh, Elegant Lord is still running away, but about uh, eight lengths off the pace. Tino tops and half running just in front of him. Fantas behind him, so too Flashing Steel. And the last horse is Will Barr. Running down the back, Earth Mover still taking them along. Elegant Law still under a stranglehold from Ender Bulger, but he's slowly getting into the race now, still towards the wide outside. It's Earth Mover from Stay in Touch and Jig Time up the rail. And then Denfield and Grimley Gale. Oh, Denfield is a faller there, nasty looking fool. Uh, the others all safely over as they head towards the water jump. And it's Earth Mover from Stay in Touch and Jig Time and then Grimley Gale. Elegant Law towards the wide outside as they take the water. Um, slightly awkward jump by flashing steel. Tino Top's got a slight reminder on landing. Wilbar is the back marker. On towards the open ditch now then. It's Earth Mover up the inside. Pops over safely from Stay in Touch. And then these are followed by Jig Time. The whip is out now for Tino Tops. Uh, Grimley Gale, the pale jacket still right there. And Fantas now getting much closer as well. The black colours jump that in about fourth or fifth. 
as they now climb on the far side of the course towards a big gaping open ditch and it's earth mover up the inside of stay in touch phantas the winner in 95 and 97 looking a big danger as they take this ditch grimly gal is next elegant lord had to reach for that a little bit the 96 winner as they race towards another plane fence at the top of the hill and it's earth mover on the inside of stay in touch jig time now pushed along in third from phantas in fourth then grimly gal flashing still elegant lord still with a bit of ground to make up he must be 10 lengths off the pace as uh, phantas now gets reminders elegant lord the five to four favorite earth mover three to one phantas five to one it's earth mover that leads the way down towards four outs hmm, so we'll have to get going on this elegant lord if he's going to get into it four out then and jig time the four of there are crashing forth it slightly hampers uh, elegant lord who's going to have to go forward denfield and ian buchanan are safely on their feet downhill towards the third from home in the Christie's Fox Hunters and in the yellow on the right it looks as if Fantas is out of the race too he's badly injured and on the right in yellow we've got Earth Mover with a blue sleeve stay in touch and Derma Costello these are sitting one and two as they make the final turn eight or ten twelve lengths back to Grimley Gale a further three lengths back to Elegant Lord who's got over a quarter of a mile to get into this but it doesn't look as if he might they've got two to jump but it's Earth Mover into the lead clear by about uh, six lengths two in second place stay in touch here comes elegant lord through it at third two out earth mover is in the lead two stay in touch in second then uh, elegant lord and grimly gale battling for places earth mover unbeaten in hunter chasers has the final one to take here we are he's over safely filling a point to point the other day would you believe it the way he's jumped round Cheltenham to win the christie's fox hunters for Joe Tizar racing up towards the line. It's Earth Mover, only a seven-year-old. He'll be back for more and more and more. Earth Mover wins a long way clear of the second horse home stay in touch. Up for third place is Flashing Steel. Then we have Grimley Gale and then Elegant Lord, who was disappointing, but in front of Wilbar and our Brennan completed. And so the result of this, the Christie's Fox Hunters, it's a win for number three. That's Earth Mover in the colours of Mr. R.M. Ferry. Trained by Richard Barber, ridden by Joe Pizar, and a popular win for the Brits in this Fox Hunters chance. Second horse aim, number seven, stay in touch for Ireland. Third, number six, flashing steel for Ireland. Oh, get on to Well, he looks a little bit sore there. Let's hope it's nothing too much for Earth Mover. He was always up there running and jumping and galloping, and his closest pursuer. I'll stay in touch, had to give best, given a good ride by doing it possibly. But uh, this horse has been a very popular winner, Richard Barber, <laughs> the name in training point to pointers. It's a great big string down there in Dorset, a lot of good horses through. And Joe Tizard, a valuable member of the team down there. Bad luck for Fantas. He broke down just going towards the third last. This also gets a good jump out of him here. Had the race sewn up. Look at that. Eyes down, watching the fence. And let's just keep our fingers crossed. He is all right, this horse, because to me, he just looked a little bit feeling as he pulled up. He's unbeaten in 10 races now. Five points and five under rules. Earth Mover was expected. Now, on the top of the programme, I told you that was a market mover, as I did on the morning line. Four to one down to Burlington, Berkeley, 130, and three to one on the course. And I have to report that one punter had a bet of 15,000 pounds to win 45,000.